Hearthstone Daily 163. Who remembers Pain and Whip? If you guys have ever followed my channel, if you guys have followed my channel for any amount of time and watched any of my Hearthstone content, you guys may remember Pain and Whip. It's a warrior deck, which is all about damaging minions and damaging your own minions. So hopefully that rings a bell. If it doesn't, well, 163 is here to make that happen. Alright, <clears throat> so with everything going on with Hearthstone now, you know, you can do Daryl Damage, your hero, you got the new quest, which is somewhere around here, hack the system, which isn't bad, I forget what the actual, um, gif is, I forget what the actual prize you get for it is, and all these new, you know, damage minions and this and that and all that, so... I'm trying to figure out how can we somehow, with the new cards of course that were added, can we get Blood Warriors, really I don't have that, I mean Pain and Whip's kinda all about that, I don't have it, huh. I thought I had like a card that did exactly what I wanted to do, but apparently I don't. How do I not have Blood Warriors? What does this deck consist of actually? Okay, so we have... Okay, Painted Whip has became, became a Dead Man's Hand deck. Oh yeah, I wonder if it's still good. Oh, only one way to find out. Does Painted Whip still hold up in today's meta? After, like, what? I don't know, three meta changes? Hopefully. It's not bad. Uh, it's not good. Uh, we'll keep it. So this whole game plan is to dead man's hand. You're waiting to victory. Which, if you look at the stats the, since the last time I played, 23 wins, 25 losses isn't good. So I guess it's a mediocre deck, to be honest. Hmm. He did this, he said, he cursed them all, and this is what, he draws a card, whenever you draw a minion, add a copy of it to your hand. So he had a spell there, that he drew, probably just gonna do the Ravaging Ghoul here. Hmm, nah. After you play a minion, deal one damage to it. Which makes me weird, feel weird. I mean, it's a whip, I get it, but it's like, who's using a big old tooth? It's just my question I have to ask here. I think we're going to go with... Right now, it's no need to do that. I think we're just going to draw cards. Doesn't sound bad. Um, Could draw some good stuff. Warpath's not bad. Dead Man's Hand is great. Take some damage we do that though, but um whatever. It's all part of all part of the strat. All part of the strat. Don't ever think it's not part of the strat. Okay, so at this point, all these cards can go back into the deck and have no problems. I have to use shield block before I use war if I'm going to do anything though, so I have to use shield block first. Alright, because no duplicates would imply. Hmm. Is taking the damage worth it? Yes, it is. So all those are all copies, but they're not duplicates. So we did pretty good there. Warpath is going to look great next turn.
Pam 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 pam. Hmm. Only get three. Mm, it's okay. I could use it in a rage roll than you two. Okay. Not a, not a perfect play by any means. Not a perfect play by any means, but right now we just have to keep monitoring what cards we have, what cards we don't have, and our deck is hopefully never going to fall below a certain threshold. Because technically at this point in time, I can play any card that I haven't played before. I mean, I've already played once at least. So for example, playing Rampage right now is fine. Playing the Cold Light is fine. I think I will actually do the Cold Light. Try so I can draw no Dead Man's Hand. That's good actually. That's good for me too. And then play that. Kill. Oh, no Flame Strike. Nice. Okay, so now we can actually play Reno if we really want it to next turn. Or Rampage. Both are good for me, so what's the play here for for this guy? Ah. Could play Reno. I might I might actually just play Reno. Cause I'm getting dangerously low. Bro, what you doing? No, you're not doing good. Stop it. Okay, so I'm thinking... There we go. We got a damaged Reno too. I mean, this is the good part. Like, because my minions are damaged and Rampage works off damaged minions, I have a guaranteed minion above for a 3-3 for 2. I mean, it's not... The damage requirement is not that bad. It doesn't sound like it's always good, but it's not that bad. Now, which does, which does suck is that I didn't get the Dead Man's Hand. So I only have one Reno in deck, but it's okay. Ooh. I wish I would have killed that. Cruel Taskmaster. Do I want to just... At this point, we're really generating a lot of damage. He just doesn't realize it yet. Hmm. Face, please. Eh, it kind of sucks. Alright, so we could take that guy out for sure if we really wanted to right now. Um... I think we do. I think that's the play. I mean, there's other plays I could have made, but I mean, for what I had. Fear those who wield it. Okay. Um. Alright, so issue is here is that I can't afford to let him live. Like, I need to make sure... I mean, I froze my own menu, which sucks. I can kill it next time. I can kill it for sure if I have to, but... Frostless Jane is a really hard foe to face. Um, of course. Of course. Dang it. I can still brawl. I can still I can I can still brawl if I have to. Which I kinda want to let's see. Do I wanna brawl is the question. I think brawling's the point, yeah. We're just gonna do this.
Time for a brawl. Please let me win. Oh, come on. Oh, it's like the worst thing that could happen. The worst thing that could happen right there. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Now we need basically... We can still live. We can still live. We just can't attack. Um... Execute would be good right about now. That's for sure. Execute would be great. What else would work? Warpath would be fine if I could just draw the Black Howl Gunspire, but it's not going to survive a turn. Blood's Bite doesn't work here. I mean, for damage value, this isn't bad. I mean, unless he can somehow ping it for one and then get another another water elemental, which could suck. I mean, which I'm not going to lie, that would suck a lot right about now. Oh. That's not what we want to see. Um, is this going to kill me is the question. I mean, I can't exactly take any of this. We're dead. I, mean, I become unfrozen, right? I mean, I just gave him a minion, though. Dang it. I gave him a minion. Wasn't trying to do that. But it's like, what else can you do? Like, what else can you really do? I, mean, I can hit this for sure, because he's going to get another minion there. I could probably get Bash or something. Oh, God. No, don't tell me you're... Nah. Okay, so we're dead. Let's see draw Reno. We're going to die. We are literally going to die. And that's okay. Not all Hearthstone dailies are winners, right? The time is never soon. I would need Reno to live, and that's not Reno. Um, I'm still dead. I'm still dead no matter what. No matter what. I mean, this is just the fact of the matter. Fighting Frostless Jane is incredibly difficult. And then with this guy with, like, plus six, I mean, that's going to be... You didn't even have to do that. You could have easily killed me. He didn't even have to polymorph. He didn't even have to polymorph. Why? Yeah. GG. Just... Bleh. But anyway, though, no, that sucks. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Tell them, peace out, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Don't, don't just stop recording.